at the Fargo Dome next week against the defending national champions. So we've had a full day out to the sideline. That's really on top of Union Tents. So you're going to know fans' names by the end of this. Off we go in the first round of the playoffs, and Montana will get it first on the touchback. So the opening snap of the playoffs for Montana with Johnson, and he throws it, not only healthy, but accurate, out to Roberts, and his top target. A couple more years to go, but he's definitely a fantastic player. Well, on third and 12, Johnson gets a clean pocket, goes far side, incomplete. The SEMO offense has faced this season. And Gino Hess, their stud running back, threw a couple of arm tackles and nearly sprung it to the second level. Three consecutive plays, they Brooks. Here they come. Hess picked up one man. DeLoren down the field and incomplete. Looking for Flournoy. Well, went to the air twice in a row, but went incomplete. Last drive, and the ball's on the uh -oh. ground. Johnson picks it up. He's got a clear path to the end zone. Looks. on the quarterback. I mean, you're responsible for protecting that football. You pull it out on a little fake jet sweep was going to call his own number, it looked like. And Tom Matukowicz called him a beautiful man. He's turned into a beautiful man. And a bit harder. So after the fumble, Johnson back on the field and has it complete. Goes underneath and tight roping the sideline for a first. So it's third down and short and plus territory. And Xavier Harris into the game at running back. And Xavier Norman's over to make the stop. All-time tackler and one of the biggest hitters in FCS football. Montana's all-time leading tackler. And he clips the legs of Geno Hess, the defending national champs. You win, you go to the Fargo Dome next week. The third down, Geno Hess. And the pile moving backwards, but... Here is Hess. He bounces to the outside, running away from Hauk, <laughs> and he's got a first down. Oh, he's got some wiggle. On the road, first round win. All right, that crowd re-energized and flags out. That's what you're talking about. So they keep it on the ground with Daryl Smith, and he's way short. Uh, Hess involved in this game. And he's in at tailback, and he is involved on second and one. And he takes a couple Grizz with him, has a first down. That's the thing, Washington Grizzly Stadium. Third and one, turns third and six. And DeLoren escapes, throws to the end zone, and incomplete. Flournoy tank Pippen from 35 yards out. And he nails it. I have a quarterback that can pick him apart. That's what Johnson will try to do on third and 13. And he goes over the middle, he's got it to Flowers. And there's a good start for John. And back to back catches for Flowers. And they flare it out to Osmo. And Osmo looking for the edge, and he won't get there. Oh. Uh, just before the timeout. So Johnson back to the air, has another completion. He's like Flowers tonight, and that's why. Well, yards after the connection earlier on this drive that went for 19. Three catches on this drive now. Johnson tucks it. And he's chased by Norman, and the stud linebacker tracks him back. Going to make it third down and ten. And Johnson giving Look time out. to the end zone. It's intercepted. Almost intercepted. Through a 35-yard field goal attempt for Nico Ramos. And Montana trying to get on the board for the first time, and they do. And DeLorent with a deep drop, and nobody home up the hatch. They all want the stats. Uh, Norman coming off the edge here. Johnson gets it away back to Flowers. And with the turn to the outside, he's got a first down pass midfield. They're going to try and bring pressure. And they got too high, and pressure does come. And Johnson throwing into it, and it's bow. Oh. And Johnson That's almost really had good. his at Washington Grizzly Stadium. And you're just calling for Hess up the middle. And that's good enough for the first down. <laughs> See? Oh, oh. So they empty it out after that boring two-yard run for first down for Hess. And DeLoren over the middle. Oh, Ooh, nice adjustment. And DeMaurier Vick right at the receivers all 6-2 or taller. Oh, blindside pressure, and DeLoren wow. got it out to Vick. Oh, he took a shot. And Vick motioning into the slot. 
And then DeLaurent fading away. He hits Flournoy in stride. Pass midfield for the first down. Good. There you go. That's what you got there's Flournoy over the middle. And DeLaurent hanging in that pocket. One of the last teams into the field. And it's third down. And DeLaurent keeps it with all that attention on the back. And he reaches Ooh, forward and has a first down. And he's been trucking up front. Uh, here is Hess trying to carve his way for the end zone and standing up he's in. Emo has their first offensive touchdown of the playoffs. After contact, contact made right there on the one. Twist and turn, he's looking for that goal line. He's extending out there. And ooh, little doink that slides in. <laughs> By two scores, two timeouts in their pocket. And Johnson extends the play and back over the middle. And he has a complete flag is down Great behind the play. Now they fake the run. And an extension of the run game on the screen to Fonts. And he's upended. And Johnson dumps it down underneath right back to Fonts. And he's out of bounds with time still on the clock. Johnson dances around a little bit. He buys himself some time. Now he unwinds and throws a moon ball to the end zone. And it's rattled around down there. Bad defense this summer because Fournoy kept doing that to his team. Here's Hess to the outside, seeking the first down and the end zone. He's got the first score. And back in the belly of Hess, driving the legs forward, using that big lower half to score again. A two-yard run. That. DC pimping out for the PAT. Uh, the seven-zip start. That's a, a great tradition. Oh, Malik Flowers fumbles the kickoff. And here he comes. The most big sky. One to beat. And he is gone. Don't they need it? First time. Yeah, it gets turned around. But still keeps his presence and picks up the football and just outruns. Player that Red Hawks guy fans know very well. Rashid Shahid, who is great at Weber State, seventh of his career at the FCS. Off the play fake to Hess to Laurent, fires it into King. And he's got enough for the first down, angling inside. Uh, here comes more pressure. DeLorean fading away and off the hands of his target, King. Uh, stop. And Montana's offense back on the field. Lucas Johnson feels some pressure. And he takes off and runs. Lucas Johnson gets a block on the edge. And across midfield with the first. Grabbing at when he went out of the game last week. Here's Johnson to throw. And over the middle, he's got it complete. And it's moving again with the tight end, Grossman. And another pass coming here out of empty. Johnson back to the end zone. Touchdown! On the board for the Grizz. And it was a lifeless scoring night. And eight. We're going to bring pressure on. Here it comes. They bring six. And DeLaurent escapes for now. Falling away again and incomplete. Rated with a couple of hits on DeLorean. And to the end. Another big return setting up. It's Junior Bergen down the sideline. And another return touchdown. A point away from Tigan. Junior Bergen to the house. This is the way you draw it up. It's just a fantastic job. I mean, that's poor special teams play. And capitalizing it. So 20 unanswered points for Montana. And there's the 21st. McConnell down bottom of the screen, set the edge again, away from him. And Vic, another tight window wow. catch. He's got a first down. Wow. And he's had three of those 17 first downs for Simo. And, oh, that wow. drops. Oh, the sure-handed King would have had a first. That sidecar. And they do give it to him. And Hess gets more than a couple, hopping into the secondary. And he's right at against them right now. So is the crowd. DeLorean runs out of time. Down he goes.
Johnson, and now the flag comes out. Want some weak links in the coverage, pass coverage particularly. Slade Dollar nearly had the pick, and Roberts out of the edge again. Has it not for a They're even on the scoreboard. There yep. you go. There's Johnson underneath. It's Roberts, and seeking the first down, slides through, and got through a herd of plays tonight have come on a bobble. So Flowers return touchdown started. Oh, cracking it back inside. Oh, big sound there. Montana picked up the blitz of Lawrence Johnson on that last play. Harrison at running back, taking a shot to the end zone. Incomplete. Nellum. They're playing so much man-to-man -man coverage. Johnson going underneath. Flowers takes a big pop. They were all over it with... And Montana, for the first time tonight, has the lead. There's Houck, nose and again. And DeLoren out to the edge, throws back shoulder. And the Missouri, uh, the Montana. DeLoren throwing, make another throw from his back foot. See, there it is. They do twist. The back and Flournoy incomplete. Low percentage. Runs. Off of the play fake. He does take a deep shot. He's got a man. And he got it complete this time. It's Flowers. I a quick snap. And to the run game, it's Childs. Driving it in there, Pyle still moving. Wow. And after stop, he gets fired. Motion goes away from Flowers. Looking that way, looking end zone. And wow, intercepted. Well, the he... senior with his first career interception in coverage on Flowers. Yeah. For... Well, Mel's up there. And they bring six. DeLoren out of pressure. And DeLoren wobbling one for Flournoy. Slip two sacks. He's got 14 tackles tonight. And underneath Johnny King, he's driven out of bounds after a first down. Midpoint of the fourth quarter. Off the play fake to Lauren. Hesitates, regathers, throws incomplete. After the pick down in the red zone last drive, got to extend the three point lead. Johnson dancing around, gets it away. And another big play in the passing game. We've got Montana right here. Came up empty-handed. And Johnson back to the end zone. Touchdown. Extends the lead for the Grizz. The reward was a touchdown strike down the middle. Here's Paul Grossman. Lucas Johnson got the helmet pad from his head coach, Bobby Haug. I think right now they're mentally. Going out. We just don't know what happened. They need to score here. Down by two scores. And a good start to the. They complete a couple passes across midfield. Then they'll start bringing pressure again. And two quick hits. Both to Flournoy. Both for first downs. No doubt they're just letting them play in space. They start to creep down. Pressure again. And it's floated out to Flournoy. Why go away from him? Three catch. Coming back from a foot injury. And the second straight, fourth down. And DeLoren in there, complete to King. And this time they convert to holding on Rodgers. DeLoren weaving through the pocket. Sets his feet, throws an interception. It's Garrett Graves picking it off, and he's trucked down. That One of the toughest guys you'll see. And Childs threw a couple tackles, and Johnson can't finish. He takes him for a ride up to midfield. Stalin Darby going against the Bison. Childs hops through the line of scrimmage. He's close to a first down. Badly need to stop here inside two minutes. And they move the chains again on the ground. Straight ahead running. And that should do it. Going the boys from the big sky want to keep playing football. Like you said, a wacky third quarter. Fun doing it with you. Always partner. Three scores. They'll be at the Fargo Dome next week for the second round. Winning by 10 over SEMO. It's in Delaware, Holy Cross, New Hampshire. All these games next Saturday. William and Mary Gardner-Webb. And the all-